Hi, I'm Stephen Power. I'm a photographer and teacher based on Valencia in County Kerry, Ireland. Welcome to my series of teaching videos. This one is about how to edit videos in Adobe Lightroom Classic 2020. Hi, so today I'm going to talk about how to edit video footage in Adobe Lightroom. Um, and the first thing that we need to do is bring the clip that we're editing into Lightroom um, and I've imported it um, from my desktop. It will appear here under the catalogue panel as previous import. But what's really important is that we use the file as it appears in the original folder. Otherwise, some of the techniques we're going to use <clears throat> just won't work. So I'm clicking on video editing under my desktop folder. And then I'm going to click on the loop view. This is all in the library module. And we can get um, a full view of the footage itself. There's a play bar at the bottom here. And if we go to the this sort of gear icon on the right hand side, which says click to trim video, then that opens up and we can see the frames inside the video with a timeline that we can move around uh, backwards and forwards to find the position that we want in the video itself. And that really brings me to talking about what we can do in Lightroom with video. It's fairly limited. We can't chop up the video in the middle, take a section out and move it to the end or just lose it completely. Um, we can't do that sort of advanced editing that you might be able to do in Adobe Premiere Pro or another similar uh, software. Um, but we can trim the beginning and the end of the video um, and I'll show you about that. Mainly what we can do is change the look of the video. Um, we can adjust the exposure and the white balance and, and have some um, control over the tones in the image. Um, so the, that's the thing we're going to concentrate on and I'll show you two different ways of doing it. First of all, let's talk about trimming the video. So if we, if you've got a lot of extraneous stuff at the beginning, you don't really want the video to start um, where the footage starts, then you move the timeline along until you get to the point where you might want the, the video to start. Um, I'll leave it there for now and then you move this trim bar if you like uh, on the left hand side and the video will now um, when it's saved will play back from that point. Similarly at the end if you move the video right to the end and you, you know you think that's maybe um, too much then you can move it back to a point where you want the video to play from and move the, the trim bar to that point. I've got some extraneous video here, some waves and things where I was turning the drone round, um, which I'd like to take out, but because it's a bit of a mess, but I can't do that in Adobe Lightroom. Just the beginning and the end. Okay. So, um, the first thing that, well, the main thing we want to do really then is change the look of the video. And I'm going to get to a, a section in the video that I think I can get uh, a work with best. So this, this one has got quite a lot of tones in it. Um, and the first thing we'll notice is that the image is underexposed. So let's look at two different ways in which we can change that. 
um, the first way is to use the quick, de quick develop tool, um, which is still in the library module in the right hand column. So from here, um, we can change the white balance and the temperature and the exposure and the tint. I like to start with the exposure. So we've got these buttons here next to the exposure uh, setting. Uh, the first one is to decrease the exposure by one stop. Um, then the next one is to decrease the exposure by one third of a stop, then increase the exposure by one third of a stop and increase the exposure by one stop. So this is looking a bit too dark. We can see that on the histogram. It's, it's maybe a, because of the, of the gap here on the right where the light should be. It's maybe um, two thirds of a stop underexposed or so. So if we increase by one stop, then we get that difference. And that actually isn't looking too bad. We'll just go up to see if that makes maybe a little bit bright. Um, so I'll come back down. So that's a, a one a third of a stop um, increase. And then similarly, we can do things with the temperature. Um, so you can see the make cooler, make cooler, make warmer, make warmer. and by varying degrees, obviously. So let's go make warmer by one third of a stop, um, make warmer again. So we, we've warmed up the video a little bit there. And then, you know, we can do similar things to the whites and the blacks. Take the whites down, make it slightly darker, um, or take them up. Um, and then increase the color if you like the vibrance, bring out the color a little bit more, again, by similar uh, changes. Um, you know, and that's basically it. So you've got um, the white balance, you've got the, the some tone controls. So you, the, there's an auto button as well, um, which might be a useful place to start with. That's given us, to me, that's a little bit bright. So I might bring the exposure down again though. Um, and that's the first way, really, um, of changing the um, look of the image. Okay, so let's reset those changes. So if we go down to the quick develop panel, uh, reset all, put everything back to where it started. And I'll show you the second way of editing the look of the image, which I, th I think is, is, is uh, gives more control really. So we'll come back to this um, play panel here. Um, and if we click the little rectangle on the right hand side, it looks a bit like a TV screen or a computer screen, we can click capture frame. And then we'll see um, another thumbnail appear next to the thumbnail for the video. And this is a JPEG image. Um, and this is why um, I said to use the, the folder where the original file was, um, because if you use the previous import um, file, if you like, um, that this often doesn't work and it will stack to the video and it's um, very hard to unstack. So we've got this JPEG now and this can be edited um, very much like um, a normal uh, JPEG would be edited um, in Lightroom. So we'll go into the develop panel and then we can make some changes here. Um, for example, to the exposure. Um, the contrast. And a few other settings as well. Now, we can't, maybe the warming up a bit with the temperature. We can't make as many changes as we would um, to 
well, we can make as many changes as, as we would normally, but we are restricted in how we can use those in the video. So for example, um, if we then highlight the video footage and go to sync, we can see that we've got the synchronized settings window here, which if you're used to synchronizing changes in um, your still images, you'll be familiar with. But we've got a difference here in that only some of them are um, active and probably more than half of them are greyed out. So this basically shows you um, the changes we can affect in the video footage. We've got treatment of profile, white balance. Uh, under the basic tone heading, we've got exposure, contrast, white clipping and black clipping. And then under color, we've got saturation, vibrance and color adjustments. And we've got split toning as well and the calibration setting. So if we synchronize all of those, I didn't make all of the changes under those headings, but that will then give us, go back into the library file to see it, but that will now give us the changes that we made in the JPEG that have been applied to the video footage itself. If you want to make some more adjustments, then you can go back to the um, quick develop panel and make them there. For example, we might want to increase the exposure again slightly. And that's basically it. Um, it gives a bit more control, I think, by using, by making the, um, the captured frame, if you like, and then applying those changes to the video, or you can use um, just the quick develop panel, if you like. If you want to see the finished video um, with sound and special effects added, um, I've put a link in the description and I hope you enjoy it. Bye for now.